It's another Jubal phone tap. 107.3 KFFM. Good afternoon, Marketplace Diner. This is Andy speaking. How may I help you? Hi there. My name is Dan Druff, and I would like to speak with the manager. Well, you're in luck, sir. This is the manager. How may I help you? Well, okay, wonderful then. Well, I was having dinner at your establishment with a friend the other night, and something very inappropriate happened. I'm really sorry to hear that. I was uh, sorry to I was sorry to have to experience it. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Uh, yeah, I was me, terribly sorry. Could you tell me a little bit more about this? Uh, sure, I'd love what to. Happened exactly? I'd love to. One of your waitresses hit on me. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, I'm very sorry. Do you remember the name of the waitress? I do remember the name. And look, don't get me wrong. I am rather attractive, and people ask me out all the time in public. But when I'm having dinner, at least give me some space. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Well, the waitress's name was Tiffany, and she would not stop. Wow. Um, it's very surprising. Mm. Tiffany is one of our best waitresses. I've never had a complaint about her. I find that hard to believe because the things she was saying to me were so crass. Could you tell me what she said exactly? I really want to help you get to the bottom of this. Sure, sure, and I hope you're ready to hear this. <laughs> I'm going to try not to get upset. I asked about a certain dish that you had on the menu, and she looked straight at me and asked me about fingering my potatoes. Wait, what? Excuse me? That's right. I asked her about an item on the menu, and she looked right at me and said something about fingering my potatoes and then just stared at me. It was extremely uncomfortable. I'm sorry you experienced that, sir, but may I ask, uh, are you sure that she didn't say fingerling potatoes? There might have just been a misunderstanding. I would appreciate it if you didn't try to cover up for her. No, sir, I'm absolutely not. I, I just want to make sure that we get to the bottom of this. Fingerling potatoes is the type of potato that we serve as a side dish. It comes with quite a few of our dishes on the menu. Uh, okay. Well, I've never heard of these fingerli- fingerling Fingerling? Finger and then L-I-N-G. Oh, well, that's Fingerling. disgusting. You should change your menu if that's actually an item. But that doesn't explain the tacos comment. Now, does it? Uh, tacos comment? Uh, what, did, what did she say exactly about the tacos? <sighs> well, she could have called them anything, but she called them street tacos. Yeah, I think we both know what that means. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what street tacos mean. Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you sure that we're on the same page that you know? I don't. A street I don't taco know. Is? I don't know how we couldn't be on the same page. I get it. Street tacos, as in women who walk the street looking to service men for money. Tacos. No, no, sir. Uh, there's been a misunderstanding. A street taco on our menu. It, it's very popular. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a popular term for prostitution. No, sir. Street taco is a, a taco that's smaller than a regular. Taco, and it, that's uh, all it means. It's just a small taco. It, uh, oh, I'm supposed to believe that, too. I've had a bachelor party, thank you very much. And all of us guys got together and said, let's go get some street tacos. I know how it works. I'm not believing you covering up for her. I'm not covering up for her, sir. You can look at our menu. It's online right now. It says street tacos, and there's a description below it. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not sure to tell you, but I do know she was definitely asking me out, and I think she should be reprimanded. Are you sure she asked you out? Because you haven't said anything that actually sounds like she actually asked you out. And it, it doesn't sound like anything inappropriate happened at all. Oh, okay, fine. Well, there was one thing that she did. And I'm not sure what she meant by this, but I can only assume it was a blatant wanting in my pants move. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yes, it was a definite wanting in my pants move. Definite. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I came in there, and one of your waitresses threw down a wanting in my pants move, and now you're laughing at me? (laughs) No, no, I've I've just never heard it described like that. Never heard what described like what? (laughs) (laughs) Is it it that funny? (laughs) No, no, I'm sorry. No, sorry. I've never heard it described in that way before. Oh, well, that's probably because I'm doing a prank phone call on you, and that was the best way I could think to describe it. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said that this is a prank phone call because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your server Tiffany set you up. (laughs) She said she wanted to play a joke on you because it's her last week at the restaurant. Wait, Tiffany did this? Yep. Oh, Tiffany, wow. Yeah, we're going to miss her. (laughs) 
<laughs> She'll be fingerling somebody else's potatoes somewhere else soon, I guess. <laughs> Jubal phone taps. Catch him every weekday with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 1073 KFFM.